Going into the semester in the city program, I was coming out of an emotionally tumultuous point in my life. And I thought that by participating in the program, I would become a happier and less anxious human being. I told all of my friends that I was going to discover something about myself that would give me that key to happiness. Of course, this is a lot to expect when I wasn't willing to work towards my own happiness and expected it to simply come to me. There was one moment during the program where I wish I'd been more successful in overcoming my self-doubt and nervousness. I was chosen to be one of three artists to participate in the Boston Art and Music Soul Fest, which is a social justice live painting event in Mattapan. During the event, I was challenged to complete a three by three foot painting in two hours, all the while a room full of people were milling around and asking me questions about my art. If you knew me and knew that I loved art, you would assume that this event would have energized me and made me happy to be a part of. But unfortunately, it was the opposite. The event left me feeling drained and frustrated with my inability to immerse myself in the event. About 10 weeks into the program, my friend Emma from UNH came to visit me. And we were sitting in my bed, just eating snacks and catching up. And she turned to me and asked, so Polina, what did you learn about yourself? What did you discover? I was so shocked by her question, I just stared at her. Because when I thought about my experience so far, I wasn't able to pinpoint a time when I'd been magically transformed or found that key to happiness I told everyone I was going to find. While I've been wrong about being magically transformed, I did learn an important lesson about myself. During bi-weekly meetings at my internship, we start each session with a couple minutes of mindfulness and focus on about one or more affirmations that we are given on a piece of paper. One in particular stood out to me. It said, always assume you will leave any interaction more energized than you were before. And as an introvert, this is not at all how I thought about human interaction. <laughs> or even doing little things like taking the tea every day for an hour or meal prepping on the weekends. This is different than a lot of other vague things that I've been told in order to become happy. Things like live in the moment or think positively, which didn't really tell me how to apply positive thinking to my life. As I worked on challenging my mindset, I was able to feel excited when I was standing in front of a room full of children every day in my internship, who may or may not like me, or this talk, or even <coughs> approaching new and possible friends. While I've not attained the state of happiness, I now know the direction I have to go in order to do so. I hope that future events like the Boston Art and Music Soul Fest will bring me joy as they should. The how of happiness is going to be different for everyone, and that is important to discover for yourself so that you can be energized by the things you love and even by the things you don't.